Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for this August current year, or whatever I was trying to say. I, I don't know what I was trying to say. I'm sorry. Anyway. Taurus and Cross Watchers, this is for the sign of Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If shit resonates with you, good deal. If not, you just poop your nose away. It goes, no point worrying about shit. They ain't got nothing to do with you and none of your business, right? Kudos. So, Taurus and Cross Watchers, let us begin. We got... Is this the same thing? No, because it's facing... Oh, it might be. Nope, can't zoom out in this mode. Um, we have the Page of Stone. Which could be you. Um, you might be being a little lynx. And you might be feeling a bit lucky, right? It's the obstacle in... Oh, or no, the situation. My bad. Situation. Current situation, six of stones with the mountain card, um, a lot of exploitation, a lot of needing balance and stuff like these people are just like, you these helpless, but it's like an, a big ass obstacle. It's like trying to get over it or something, right? Wants and wishes. This might also be you, Taurus, and you might be being hard-headed because you don't want to go the fuck anyway. You might have just kicked someone in the head and be like, I will not get on that boat. No, sir. Or maybe you're just wanting to refuse to travel somewhere, right? The obstacle and challenge, the actual obstacle and challenge, I will say. Like, a pretty fuck wish fulfillment. Like, there's no generosity, and it doesn't seem like there's anything growing from it either. Like, you could have a wish fulfillment, but it's not going to bring anything gracious to your way. I'll say. Fears and rejections might be a big ass struggle. Eight of arrows. Like something happening quick. It might be a snake. You might be getting struck by a snack snack, you know. How shit starts, how it'll end. Queen of Vessels, Cap uh, not shit, I almost said Capricorn. Um Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. And the book, Reverse, which is, well, they're both reverse. It's like this person's just like a slippery fish, but it's also like someone either doesn't know something about their sneaky ways, or this person's just kind of dumb. I feel like someone doesn't know better, or like, someone doesn't know someone's devious actions, because the Queen of Vess is like, I always used to say with my Rider Wake deck that when she was reverse, um, that bitch is going to kill your kid's pet just to hurt you, because you know you can't fix it. Like, I will go after your kid's just so, um, I know you're hurt, because then there's nothing you can do about it, you know? So, single white female, female attraction ship. The beginning theme is the green woman, which is also the Empress card. In Taurus, it's also your card. But it's reversed. It feels like you weren't abundant. You weren't doing anything. It's like you're about to sacrifice these two things in this pile and be like, Oh, well, fuck. I didn't mean to drown you. It feels like you're not feeling as abundant as you want to. Oh! Before we get further into this, um... Can everybody say some good thoughts and stuff for my girlfriend? Her, um, doggo, her puppers, passed away this morning. And that was, like, her son. So if you all could just say a kind word, light a candle, um, sacrifice someone you hate, um, for her. So just, at least she knows that, like, there are people thinking of her. That would be awesome, you know. That's all. I just want to look out for my boo. Anyway. Let's begin, Taurus. I got to do the Leo season reading, actually. I'll probably try to do that today. I'll also try to get my personals done. I'm sorry for those who've been waiting. It's just been a heavy-ass time. Anyway. Let's move this back some. Okay. So. And don't worry, I'm, I'm going to start editing out the fan. Because it's annoying. But it's cool because it like at least cancels out some sounds. But still. Anyway, let's see. The vibration and energy tours and cross watchers. The page of stones with the four leaf clover. It's like you're lucky. 
yeah, something quick is coming. Eight of Wands once again. Something quick is very happy happening very quickly. You're about to cut the rope and let a door open and keep one closed. Or at least that's what you're wanting or trying to do. Or that's the, the energy and actions you're putting out right now. Because you need a goddamn break. You know? Ugh. I'm going to close this door so I can take a nap. It might actually be something happening quick, too. Six of stones with the mountain, where the situation feels like there's exploitation and it's hard to get overcome because it feels like a giant ass mountain. Trying to figure out if you're going this way or that way, but either way, you want to move forward. Chariot card could be dealing with the cancer for sure. But it seems like you don't have a lot of creativity to go on, or you're just getting, like, kind of like writer's or artist block, where it's just like you're frustrated and you keep destroying the same picture you've drawn over and over again. And I would almost say that if you're going to do that, you might as well just finish the picture. Because if you fail on it completely, and but you finish it, you know what you're not going to do the next time. But I feel like some of you just crumble up your art or whatever you're trying to create because it isn't coming out the way you want it to. Yeah, Justice card. I think you want to go about things right. You're trying to figure out the law and all that shit. I mean, the bitch is supposed to be blind, but she's still looking up information, so that's not too bad. Huh, she looks like her shadow's a kitty, too, but that's kind of cute. Let's see. Wants and wishes, Taurus and Cross Watchers. Okay. Let's see. You're in this mode of like being really hard headed and being like, I'm not going a goddamn place. I'll kick you right in the head. I'm a horse, bitch. Something about family, the collective. You and your partner, maybe your children. Come here. Come here. C come here. I'm not. Okay. Thank you. Mm. There's something about the family here, Taurus and Cross Watchers, where you're like you're trying to get out of something because it's making me a crazy cat lady. I feel like I feel like you know you have to get out of something to do with a family unit because it drives you nuts. Even though it's it seems like it's a wonderful picture, um, it gives you anxiety. It seems like it gives you panic attacks. Seems like you just hate the shit, honestly. If you're gonna be that hard headed. Like it's like you don't wanna travel back to that place and you know it's a family unit. I feel like some of you might be broke. Anyway. Obstacle and challenge. This generosity is reversed with the flower reverse as well. It's like there's wish fulfillment. But I feel like it's not generous enough. There might be an emperor here. Could be your counterpart since the green woman's here. Um, this emperor, he's not paying attention to shit. He's not even looking at what he's trying to do. Hmm. Like there's a story here. He's not paying attention to the story, but it seems like the story is almost about somebody having to basically go around a fire breathing dragon like someone's reading the story about someone who's playing skype for, or skyrim for the first time i almost said skype listen to me mm. just listen to me the king of swords mm, i don't like that and the Emperor's Reverse right here, too. This is not good. Hmm. One more. Why is the King of Swords here saying, like, I know exactly what's going to happen. I read the book, not watched the movie. Despair. 
because things weren't planned that well. Okay, Taurus and Cross Watchers, it seems like the obstacle and challenge here. This dude isn't looking at the script when it comes to someone getting away from a dragon, but I almost feel like since the King of Swords here, and together they make a douchebag, right? At least they're not both reverse, right? But it seems like he's in the, he's he, he's not paying attention to what this person's doing because it's almost like he's reading the book and being like, oh, like, are you trying to leave somebody or get away from somebody? Because it seems like this person feels like, you know, like, oh, I know better. They're going to come back. They don't have a choice, you know? Or maybe they feel like you'll come back because they aren't giving you something. Here's rejections. Eight of arrows, a struggle with a snake. It might be quick, and they might stab you really quick, too. You're at a, there might be a crossroads you're dealing with. Could be dealing with a Pisces, right? Where you gotta kind of, like, stop going back to this dude with the flowers because he's hitting on you too much, and he's a little bit too old. You know, not... I'm not, like, being serious, but it's just an example. It's like, I can't come back here. Like, I gotta move forward. Counterpart, Queen of Swords, but it makes you feel like you're being crazy for cutting this shit out. Or it's driving you crazy that you gotta cut this shit out. She's just like, I will stab a bitch if they keep looking at my fries. Mother, you don't have any fries. Not anymore, and now I'm hungry. Who's going to give me food? You know, it's kind of like that. Mm. How does Star Child win? Queen of Vessels and the Book Reverse. Either someone doesn't know about this water fish bitch, or this bitch is very unaware of shit, but I don't like her. Just saying. Yeah, I really don't like this person. They feel like a victor. I don't like this, Taurus. I don't like... You're always dealing with some person who needs to fuck off. Feeling like a victor because you got yourself out of a situation, possibly? Or they will. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoever this Queen of Vessels is right here, they don't know what's going on with you. Okay, yeah, because it almost seems like it, like you or them aren't really trying to look at the emotions at play, which is probably not a bad thing. This is also the counterpart to the Queen of Cups, right? I feel like the males are your person, and you are the queens, because definitely themed like that. You could definitely be a feminine energy. It doesn't have to be, but you know. You could be, but I feel like you're the feminine and they're the masculine. Oh, oh, the devil. Bro, someone's tempting you because they think you aren't abundant with the green woman or the empress, right? I don't like this Taurus at all. Someone's trying to tempt you with money and food and cuddles. Which is, like, makes a lot of sense to me. Like, you know, I'm Taurus North there. So <laughs> I'm just kind of like, oh, bro, like, shit. I hate how water gathers on this. I need a fucking coaster. I need to fix my damn hair. That's what I need to do. Mm -mm. Anyway. Clarifying, clarifying our destiny, or whatever this is, what the fuck. You really don't have to resonate with this, but, you know, if you do, this kind of sucks, man. Like, because it really feels like you're trying to get away from somebody, but they're still tempting you with, like, food and shit. Which I would totally go for, because I love food. I, I love food so much. I still have a, a chicken bowl in the fridge. <sighs> I'm gonna eat that shit today. Fuck yeah. It's got chicken, asparagus, green beans, mashed potatoes, gravy, French fried onions. It's fucking amazing. Dear, I'm so fucking excited. I'm gonna eat that shit. Oh, I'm gonna eat that shit. I'm gonna eat that shit. Alright. 
Vibration and energy. Eight of wands. The death card. Scor could be a Scorpio, honestly. Um, four of swords. It seems like things are happening quickly. Doors are getting closed so you can take a nap. Yeah, bury that shit, bro. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Throw it in the fucking dirt. Put dirt on it. Put a cross. Whatever you want. Just be like, nope, I am not doing this shit no more. Let it go! Taurus and cross watchers, you're definitely being told to get away from somebody. Or they're trying to get away from you. One of the two. But, who gives a shit if they drown? You know? Let the shit go. Let them fucking drown. Or they're going to be doing this to you. Um, but I feel like you're the one that's letting them drown. You're sitting there mourning the situation, but it's like, I gotta let you go. Go on, be free, person who's about to, like, learn what, like, lung capacity is. Be free. Mm. The situation. The chariot with the page, cups reverse, and justice. I feel like you guys are too worried about, like, taking care of someone who doesn't give a shit about you. Just to be frank. Like, you don't know which way you're going. You feel like it, 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 it's really... I feel like it's really hard for you to figure out a creative way to be justified. You know? You do want to give something. It might be slow, too. And it's kind of like to that King of Swords dude. But I feel like it's almost like a financial thing or some sort of material, right? Possibly communication. You might be slow with it. Oh my god, okay. Look at the positions of the people on the card, right? The person who's walking away is also the person who is destroying and pulling and tearing at your flag of happiness. You just want to have a parade, and now you're sitting here like, oh, my feelings. If you let, if, if, if talk to some cross watcher, listen, right? You cannot, you cannot have a conversation with somebody who leaves if they don't make you unhappy first. Like, you could try to talk to this person, but they're going to walk away, and that's going to rip at your happiness even more than what it was, because they know that you fucking care. You know? And that's a bad idea. Do not give them that pentacle, because then you're going to have to clean up the fucking mess. That is a terrible fucking idea. Fuck this person. Don't deal with them. Don't talk with them. And it could be you as well, but I don't feel like it is. Wants and Wishes, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Reverse, Queen of Pentacles, Reverse. I feel like this, whatever this is, this collective, this family unit, you're trying to get your head out of the stuckness because it makes you a crazy cat lady, right? Which makes sense, looking down here. There's this combination again. I had this with another, um reading these exact same cards not in the exact same order but it's the exact same cards actually i think they're all backwards from whoever's reading i did before i can't remember um but this person they make it worse than what you already are and then they walk off and you're just standing there like what the fuck but this is them giving you bullshit this is them giving you it's kind of like a karmic, like, the way that they treat you right now, coming in to, like, violate your rest period, and then walking away when you're sitting there like, you just woke me the fuck up. What did you want? I don't want a damn thing from you, right? They're giving you what you need for your crossroads in order for you to, like, feel like get away with them. It's just like, I'm feeding you this bullshit you're not drinking, and you're just like, you know what, I need to get off this tree before this bitch drowns me, right? But yeah, someone else had that combination of cards, but I think it was all backwards. That's actually kind of cool. I've never had that happen before. Yeah, and it's like this person will do anything to hurt you. You have the Eight of Wands twice in your reading already, but they're upright. This person's doing anything they can to stop it. Fuck this person. <laughs> Anyway, obstacle and challenge, the Emperor, Knight of Wands, King of Swords. I feel like they think you're going to come back. 
I don't think that's a good idea. Tortoise and Cross Watchers. I don't think it's a good idea to go back to someone who treats you the way they do. Cause you're the king of pentacles. You love your bull more than money. Definitely your energy right there, Taurus. I feel like you're going to be successful. Despite what this person wants and thinks of you. Because you ain't going to be tempted. You could definitely have some Capricorn in you. Or you could be dealing with a Capricorn. The devil's showing up twice. Someone's tempting you in the ending theme. To go to a beginning where you're not a good fucking green woman. But here it's like you're not even taking the bait. It's like I know what your dick is like. I'm not having it in me again. It's disgusting. Go wash it please. <laughs> it smells like rotten Cheetos. You know? Ugh. Sail away, sail away, sail away. Yeah, you're just leaving. <laughs> you're like, I am not. I, I am not. I am not. I feel like that. that's definitely you. I feel like. Mm. I think you get your mojo back. Mind you, we have all the kings out here, but that's the only king that I feel comfortable in saying that that is you, Taurus. And I think you really are avoiding um, temptation. And I think you're just going to be like, you know what, I'm meeting new people and I'm fucking right off. I'll, I'll, I'll fuck myself right off, okay? No big deal. I'll save you the trouble. Fears and rejections. The hanged man right here. Six of Cups reversed and the Queen of Swords reversed. It, I feel like you're at a crossroads. We're leaving the past behind. It's kind of making me a little crazy because it's just like, do I really want to cut this off? Do I really want to end it? Quit hanging on to dumb shit. You see this? It's been 10 fucking years, and now it's been another 10, because you sat here and thought about it so long, and Death's just sitting here waiting like, no, there are other mortals who need to die. Could you, come on, that's five more minutes, it's been 20 years, Carl, you know? Fucking Carl. <laughs> oh, ah! Lucky showed up reverse. He's not going to tell you what you want to hear. You're hanging on to someone who treats you like garbage. But, you know, that's why you should fuck yourself up. Because, like, it, it, take the trash out for yourself. Get rid of yourself out of this situation. Because I really don't like it. And I don't like the fact that he isn't telling you something. Yeah. Yeah, fuck this person. Mm -hmm. Like, if they had the option, they would never tell you they love you. Or they're not going to tell you the truth about your relationship. It's like, the less they say, the more convenient it is for you to hang on to them. You know? Like, so reverse psychology bullshit. How the shit starts, how it'll end. Six wands... Eight of Swords reverse and the King of Cups reverse. I think this is a victory of you getting out of this nasty headspace that this person you're dealing with um, has you under. I think they don't know that you're doing that. Like you're not like you're trying to still tempt you, but you're not falling for the temptation. It's just like no. <laughs> Yeah, you let those swords drop and heal yourself, Taurus and Cross Watchers. Here's the uncle. Yeah, you're healing yourself from who you thought this person was. Because in case you don't realize, you they pit. The, okay, so this person flip flops, right? Sometimes he looks good to you, other times he's an asshole. And you know this. You know this person flips on you a lot. Yeah, they don't have any love for you. They sure as fuck isn't giving it to you, that's for sure. I'm dropping one more on that. Yeah, they don't have any love for you. They'll just leave you out in the cold every fucking time. They'll be sitting there watching while they truck along, man. I don't like this person, no. I swear. Every Zodiac I have read for has a shitty person. 
who and like they'll make you do tricks for them. That's the crazy thing. Like, mm, mm, mm. yeah, fuck this person. Anyway, so three last cards for my happy little food loving bouge. Punishment. Oh, oof. That actually made my stomach hurt a little bit. Quit being a loyal motherfucking dog, dude. You actually get more advice cards than everyone else. Um, punishment, commitment, bad fortune. There is something right here, though. But it's coming with some, like, occult magical shit. Hmm. Taurus and Cross Watchers. I feel like this top wear right here with the whip, the ring, and the star. That this relationship's not good. Definitely karmic, right? But the thing is, on the bottom of it all, these two cards right here tells me that there's something that's gonna happen. An event or a person that's gonna bring the sun out. Bright and sunshine and day, you know? So it's almost like this was supposed to definitely teach you something, but something's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. But there's some event that might just come up. Actually, fuck it, we'll cheat. I'll give it to you. What's the event? Taking a nap. Burden. Just... Taking a nap. Once again, you're trying to take naps, man. And naps are fucking awesome. But apparently nobody else agrees. Um, you're trying to get a break. It's when... I feel like you take a break from all this shit is when something happens. But... You other girls can't do not. When a girl walks in with the ED wasted around thing in your face, you get sprung. You know? I don't know where that came from. Anyway... That's your reading tour to Crosswalkers, so if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. Like I said, I'm going to try to get personals again. It's just, <clears throat> you know. Also, like I said, please say a little prayer or light a candle for my boo. She needs it. That do is her life. Like, it, uh, like she's so devastated. I know she is. And she's never going to admit it, but, you know. Capricorns, after all. But I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.